By now, you've likely heard about this exchange at the end of Charlotte FC's home opener. Sasha Kleshton, who gave a jersey to a seven-year-old Chris Hagart when he was battling cancer in 2010, received the rookie midfielder's jersey in return. But before Hagart was able to pay back the gesture made 12 years ago, he had already paid it forward. It started with a surprise. Hey guys, how are you guys? Hey. Oh, I'm Chris. Oh my gosh. Nice hey, to meet you guys. How, how are you? Good to you see you. Liam Flynn meeting his hero, Chris Hegart. I was just trying to get my dad a jersey for his birthday, but then he just showed up and I was like, what? The two joined by shared pain and shared triumph. Liam, a precocious 10 year old, just four years removed from a rare and aggressive cancer diagnosis. The Burkitt's lymphoma nearly took his life. Now he's eager to cut an interview short to rejoin his soccer team during a rainy practice. Chris, a 20 year old rookie for Charlotte FC, a talented winger, the picture of health and strength but only after his own battle with childhood cancer, six rounds of chemotherapy, and a liver transplant. I was seven years old, so I just, in my mind, I was just like, I just want to do everything I can to get back playing soccer because that's what I love to do and that was my life. When Liam's parents found out about Chris's story, they reached out to the team and before long, Hegart was leading a tour through Bank of America Stadium ahead of last week's home opener. What was supposed yeah. to be a quick meet and greet. They put all like your stuff in here. Turn into a visit to the locker room. Nice to meet you. A meeting with head coach Miguel Ramirez. Oh. And an impromptu soccer practice. Oh, yeah. Liam, the goal scorer. We genuinely wanted to spend some time with Liam. He wanted to take him on the pitch. He wanted to kick some balls with him. He wanted to engage him. It was more than just, I just have this thing I have to do and I'm going to get it done and get out. And once I saw how much fun he was having, I thought, how could I, how could I make this the best experience for him? And just showing him all these things, I think, just made him very happy and that's all I could ask for. You guys like these seats? They're kind of nice, huh? Yeah. But there was one like more surprise. Yeah. This is where you guys are going to be sitting this Saturday. A seat upgrade for the inaugural match at Bank of America Stadium. Normally, I'm just in the top row on the second section. Yeah. Now, he'd be front row with a perfect view of Chris Hegart entering in the 86th minute. That was pretty cool. My dad was just yelling, Chris. Go, Chris! And a chance to see that jersey swap, 12 years in the making. A touching story for many, far more meaningful for the Flynn family. You look at the picture and you're like, that looked like my son. That looks like someone who's frail and someone who's sick. And then to see him this years later, I'm like, this is someone who's been able to take that adversity and do really well in a field that is relatable to my son. The ties that connect one person, one family to another, yeah, so don't have to be perfect like as long there. as the knots hold. To... Liam knows the pain that Chris endured. Chris lived the path that Liam hopes to walk. And while Chris doesn't speak much about his own illness, he shared one final message at the end of Liam's stadium tour. Embrace it all. It only makes you stronger. You learn so much from it. So just got to keep going, keep fighting. And that's it. There's going to be bumps in the road and everything. So just, just keep going.